Hello students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss few questions related to J main exam pattern. Clear friend? So let's start with the topic that is question answer round and how to solve the question. Look at what I'm telling. Now look at the question, read the question carefully. I'm giving you a few seconds. A blue colored complex, Fe4, FeCN, Hall 6, Hall thrice. A blue colored complex, average oxidation number of Fe is a okay oxidation number of central iron atom is b yes sir <laughs> and the oxidation number of the counter iron atom this one is central and this one is counter okay wait for a moment this one and this one okay this one is central this one is counter that is this one is b and this one is c okay we have to find out the value of A, B, C respectively. So let's start how to solve the question. I'm giving you a detailed solution. Then we'll discuss the answer. Now let's move here. <coughs> solution of this question, look at what I'm telling, listen carefully. The compound here is Fe4, FeC and Hall 6, all thrice. This is the compound. <laughs> now it will dissociate like this. 4 F E 3 plus then no need to write plus you can write like this 3 F E C N Hall 6 4 minus this is the simple case. <laughs> now total iron here is 4. Now 4 into 3, okay. And uh, here is Fe is in plus 2 oxidation state. Do you need to find it out? Find it out. X plus minus 1 into 6 is equal to minus 4. Yes, sir. X minus 6 is equal to minus 4. X is equal to minus, uh, sorry, minus 4 plus 6. X is equal to plus 2 oxidation state. Clear? So, 3 into 2, 3 times iron. Total number of irons, 4 plus 3, 7. Put here 7. Now multiply 4, 3, 12 and 3, 2, 6. The average oxidation state is 18 plus, uh, 18, plus 18 by 7. This is the value of A. Okay. Now what is the uh, oxidation state of central iron atom? Sir, the oxidation state of central iron atom is plus 2. That is, this one is plus 2. This is the value of B. Yes, sir. Now, what is the oxidation state of the counter ion? This one is the counter Fe. Uh, and here is plus 3 oxidation state. This is the value of C. Now, we can say that is the answer. A is equal to plus 18 upon 7. Yes, sir. Uh, B is equal to plus 2 and C is equal to plus 3. This is the answer. Now check out which one is the correct option. A is equal to 18 by 7. Okay. B is equal to plus 2 and C is equal to plus 3. So the, for this question, C is the correct answer. Now I'm going to rub this part and we'll discuss the next question. Wait for a moment. <laughs> Now, <laughs> let's move to the next question. CONS3 Hall 4 NO2 Cl shows which type of isomerism? First one is linkage isomerism. Yes, uh, possible linkage isomers is possible definitely because this is ambidented ligand. If it is ambidented ligand, then it can be represented like this NO2, yes, then ONO. One times nitro and second time nitrito o and n linkage isomer clear geometrical isomers done definitely if the component have formula m a 4 b 2 then it is it can show geometrical isomers here is also m a 4 b 2 yes it shows geometrical optical isomers no there is no optical isomer is possible for this uh, linkage <laughs> now next one 
चेक इट आउट लिंकेज पॉसिबल आयनाइजेशन आइसोमर्स यस एन ओ टू हैज चार्जेस एंड दिस विल एक्सचेंज देयर देयर आयनाइजेशन आइसोमर्स इज पॉसिबल सो इन दिस केस वट विल हैपन लिंकेज आइसोमर पॉसिबल जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमर पॉसिबल एंड आयनाइजेशन आइसोमर इज इज पॉसिबल सो विच इज द फॉर्मूला लिंकेज आयनाइजेशन एंड जोमेट्रिकल सो सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन क्लियर टू यू लिंकेज आयनाइजेशन एंड जोमेट्रिकल आइसोमेर दिस इज द क्लियर एक्सप्लेनेशन नाउ फॉर ऑप्टिकल आइसोमर्स वी पीपल नो कायरल सेंटर एंड प्लेन ऑफ सिमेट्री वी हैव टू चेक इट आउट सो इन दिस केस नो ऑप्टिकल आइसोमेर इज इज पॉसिबल क्लियर थ्री आइसोमेर लिंकेज ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एम्बिडेंटेड लिगेन फॉर्मूला सिस एंड ट्रांस इज पॉसिबल एफ ओ बी टू जोमेट्री एंड ओक्टा हाइड्रल कंप्लेक्स बिकॉज द कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर सिक्स एंड आइनाइजेशन ऑल्सो पॉसिबल बिकॉज देयर एनओ टू हैज चार्ज एन एस थ्री हैज न्यूट्रल मॉलिक्यूल सो आइनाइजेशन इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल सो सो थ्री मेन आइसोमाइज इज पॉसिबल लिंकेज आइनाइजेशन एंड जोमेट्रिकल क्लियर आई एम गोइंग टू रब दिस पार्ट एंड विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेट फॉर अ मोमेंट now which of the following has two geometrical isomer and is no, and is also non ionizable that is no charge as we know if a complex has formula m a4 b2 now look at here if i write like this pt and h3 and cl2 hall 3 and cl2 this is non uh, this is not non ionizable this one is not possible if i write here pt ns3 hall 6 then cl4 not no possibility to show geometrical isomers if i write like this here pt ns3 hall 4 cl2 there is a possibility to show geometrical isomer in this case similar this pattern this pattern is similar but here is non ion non this one is not non ionizable ionizable minus and plus charge are possible if i write like this if i put here pt cl4 into nh3 hall twice look at this is m formula m a4 b2 if this is a formula of m a4 b2 and there is no such charges then in this case what we observe there is a possibility of geometrical isomer one condition satisfied and non ionizable not ion presence here so in this case what is the correct option c is the correct option clear to you what i am telling we have to check two things not only geometrical isomer we have to check out geometrical isomers as well as non ionizable complex non ionizable that is no presence of charge so this is this option satisfy the whole criteria for this questions clear now wait for a moment <laughs> now let's move to the next question which of the following cobalt complex is paramagnetic high spin complex as uh, if i talk about this complex co and co c2o4 and co cn hall 6 clear to you what will happen in this case check it out for c uh, for in all the cases that is they form diamagnetic complex not paramagnetic complex what i am telling they form diamagnetic complex if i talk about co cn6 look at co3 plus that is the oxidation state and the outermost electronic configuration is 3d7 clear to you now for 3d7 what will happen check it out 1 2 3 4 5 <laughs> uh 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 and then 7 due to the presence of scn minus a strong field ligand what will happen pairing will take place if pairing will take place then tell me what will happen that is co3 plus 
थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंफिग्रेशन इज थ्री डी सिक्स नॉट थ्री डी सेवन ऑनली पुट हेयर दैट इज थ्री डी सिक्स नाउ पेयरिंग विल बी डन वट विल हैपन इन दिस केस चेक इट आउट इट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स नाउ पेयरिंग दिस विल कम हेयर दिस विल कम हेयर सो इन दिस केस द हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इज डी टू एस पी थ्री दैट इज डाया मैग्नेटिक सबिस्टेंस नो अनपेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड लो स्पिन कंप्लेक्सेज clear to inner orbital complex similar here one more thing clear to you if i talk about co here cobalt is in 3 plus oxidation state for cobalt in this case what will happen that h2o will work as a high uh, strong field ligand due to this reason again pairing will take place if there is pairing take place then we can say again it will form inner orbital complex that is high spin complex and diamagnetic in nature so which of the following cobalt complex is paramagnetic uh, high spin complex none so the answer of this question is none of this clear friend if you have any doubt you can easily approach to me i used to tell such words now wait for a moment now let's move to the one more thing i have to modify this question here put here three because cobalt in this option i didn't check in this option that is co it will write x minus 2 into 3 oxalate ion that is equal to minus 3 x minus 6 is equal to minus 3 x is equal to minus 3 Plus six. X is equal to plus three. This is the correct order. This one minus three plus three. Done. Now you can say none of this. I have modified this thing because these are this form stable complex. So for this question, D is the correct option. Clear? Now let's move to the next question. The next question in this case is question number five. Which of the following ligand is ambidentate? As we know, what is ambidentate ligand? Ambidentate ligand are those ligand which have uh, tell me two, two donor atom, and at one time there is one uh, one donor atom attached to the central metal atom. In this case, this is ambidentate ligand. Clear to you? Here is also ambidentate ligand. and this one is also but what is chelating ligand that is best chelation that is the case it form the best ring structure around the central metal atom and will form a most stable compound look at the condition chelation ring type structure so for this d is the correct option clear friend what i'm telling for this d is the correct option now let's move to the next question next section of the question question number 6 which of the following pair of molecules have identical shape now identical shape if i talk about nicl4 xenone f4 a simple calculation by prediction we can say they, they do not have uh, the same hybridization but if i talk about zn h2o so second option check it out zn is in plus 2 oxidation state and the coordination number here is 4 if the coordination number is 4 either sp3 or dsp2 hybridization is possible yes in zn uh, and if i talk about h2o h2o is friend that is the weak field ligand yes if it is a weak field ligand then the hybridization will be s P three hybridization clear to you. What I'm telling the hybridization will be S P three in case of Zn H two O. If I talk about S I C L four, check it out. What is the formula to find the hybrid X is equal to one by two the valence electron here for silicon that is four and monovalent atom is four that is four four eight eight by two is equal to four so hybridization is sp3 what we find here that is in case of zn h2o hall four and sicl4 the hybridization is sp3 in sp3 if i talk about the first option ni is in plus 2 oxidation state am i right ni is in plus 2 oxidation state so it can be represented like this 3d8 check it out 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 
क्लियर पुट हेयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ओके नाउ फॉर एन आई सी एल फोर प्लस देर इज ऑल्सो एस पी थ्री हाइबिडाइजेशन यस बिकॉज सी एल इज अ वीक फील्ड लिगेन नाउ चेक आउट द एक्स ई एफ फोर दैट इज जेन टेट्राफ्लोराइड हाउ टू राइट द हाउ टू फाइंड द That is hybridization. X is equal to one by two. What is the valence electron? Eight plus four. That is twelve. Twelve upon six is equal to six. If the uh, value of X is equal to six, then the hybridization is four sp three d two, not sp three. So for first option, the one has hybridization sp three, and the second one is sp three d two. So first is the not correct option. And if I talk about uh, Jordan H two O Hall four and S I C L four, then here is uh, S P three. This is a single option type uh, question. We do not need to check other uh, uh, other option also. But if I check other option, then you can easily solve. Again, if I talk about F E C O five, then definitely it has hybridization. Tell me, it has hybridization S P three D because this is coordination number is. Five. Now, if I talk about X E O F four, check it out. X is equal to one by two eight uh, monovalent atom four. This is divalent. We will not talk monovalent atom four. That is again the hybridization is S P three D two. One is S P three D. The second one is S P three D two. So this is also uh, not a correct option. Clear to you? If I talk about A G N S three halt wise here the coordination number is two. If the coordination number is two. Then what will happen? So hybridization is sp. If the coordination number is three, then the hybridization will be sp two. If the coordination number is four, then the hybridization will be either sp three or dsp two. If the coordination number is five, then the hybridization will be sp three d or dsp three. In this case, we write sp three d or dsp three. According to the ligand strength, we will write. Inner orbital complex and outer or orbital complex and lump sum. We write here for FeCO5. If the coordination number is five, either it will form sp3d and or dsp3. Clear to you? But if I talk about XeOF4, the hybridization is sp3d2. If I talk about AgNS3 halt twice, the hybridization is sp. If I talk about SF2, X is equal to one by two. Sulfur has uh, valence electron six plus two. Four. That is six plus two. That is x is equal to sp three hybridization. Yes, sir. Here sp three. Here sp. So this is not a correct pair. So only one option, B option, has sp three and sp three hybridization. Clear to you? So for this question, B is the correct answer. Now, friend, wait for a moment. I am moving to the next question. Sometimes I give the detailed solution, but for such question you can easily solve. Don't move towards the detailed solution because it is complete time consuming, and in competitive examination we have less time. We should be uh, very frequent to answer the question easily because I have discussed all the things in my lecture. If you follow my lecture, then definitely I promise you you can easily solve such kind of question. Same repetition, repetition is going on. So best to first of all follow my lecture, then solve this question. With your own, don't uh, check my option answer. You just uh, uh, take the question and solve it. Then definitely we will solve it. And practice, as I told you earlier, the practice makes a person perfect. Clear, friend? Now let's move to the next question. Now look at the question in the composed COCl3. Into five NS three. I have discussed this thing while discussing the Werner's theory. And according to the Werner's theory, do you remember two type of valency: primary and secondary valency. All Cl atoms so primary not possible. Two Cl atoms so primary valency and one Cl so atom secondary valency. Two Cl atom so primary valency and one Cl atom uh, so primary as well as secondary. Yes, yes, this is the correct one because the correct representation is. CO and S3 Hall 5 Cl and Cl2. This is the best way to represent such complex according to the Werner's theory. Do you remember this? So for this, we do not need to check out all the option. C is the correct option. Clear to you, friend? Now, <coughs> wait for a moment. 
here is some contradiction don't get confused two cl atoms of primary valency okay and one cl atoms of primary valency as as well as secondary valency. this is the just 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 the elaboration of the topic maybe so this is the best explanation and the correct form is like this so we can say for this c is the correct option now next let's move to the next part of the question the next part look at which of the following d orbital of metal is not the part of t2g set in octahedral complex tell me what will happen in this case friend sir as we know there are two part t2g and eg do you remember this and with what is given here sir which of the following d orbital of the matter is not the part of p2g remember sir it is very simple they i am writing here is it visible to you t2g t2g there is dx dy d yz and dxz remember and for eg tell me dx square y square and dz square now please help me how to solve this one is xy xz and uh, yz that belong to t2g and the question is we do not belong so this one is the uh, this is dx square minus y square dx square minus y square belong to eg not t2g so for this question we people say sir this is the correct option that is d because dx square minus y square belong to eg now let's move to the next question now the question number 9 what will happen in this case check it out select the most stable complex what is the uh, in this case first of all for stable complex for such option first of all check the option here uh, one is monodented ligand and second one is bidented ligand if there is a bidented ligand then definitely there is a possibility to form chelation more the chelation more is the stability as i discussed you earlier what i'm telling more the chelation more is the stability in this case there are more uh, other things to stability as i discussed as a higher the value of k we have to check also check the value of stability constant mm, then we have to change which type of complex attached to the uh, central metal atom there are various type to show but in this case that is one thing that is one is monodented ligand and second one is bidented ligand in first case there is only monodented ligand in second case there is uh, attachment of two bidented ligand en2 ethylene diamond I mean uh, and in this case there is one but in the last case there is three en that is three bidented ligand are attached if there is as i told you earlier if there is more attachment of uh, bidented ligand then more chelation more chelation more is the stability so in this case due to the attachment of three bidented ligand this will this complex is most stable complex so for this question d is the correct option clear now friend i'm going to wrap this part and we'll discuss the next one the next one is look at for an octahedral complex which of the following d electron Tron configuration will give you max will give maximum CFSE crystal field stabilization energy uh, and for octahedral complex for octahedral complex tell me what is the value of CFSE so 0.6 into x square minus 0.4 into y square this is the formula now as i told you d6 then what will happen in this case that is high spin d6 then tell me yes sir we are going to tell you wait for a moment now use colorful chalk 1 2 3 4 wait this is two only eg t2g and eg okay uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and 
क्लियर नाउ चेक आउट द इलेक्ट्रॉन जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सो फॉर दिस सी एफ एस सी वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर दैट इज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन टू टू दोर एंड माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर इन टू फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन फोर स्क्वायर दैट इज वट विल हैपन इन दिस केस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स टू पॉइंट फोर That is minus six point four. Am I right? Sorry, that is not x squared. That is zero point six y. Wait for a moment. Zero point six. Zero point six into two minus zero point four into four. Clear to you? This is this is the formula, not y squared. One point two minus one point six. That is minus zero point four in this case. Clear? Now for Uh, low spin d5 for low spin d5 first pairing will be done and moving here look at for d5 it can be written like this look at 1 2 3 3 that is 1 and 2 now put here 1 2 3 uh, then is 4 and that is is 5 this one is easy and this one is t2z what is the value of cfse in this case 0.6 into 0 minus 0.4 into 5 that is minus 2 here clear to you now uh, next one low spin d4 if i talk about low spin d4 then what will happen so pairing will be done first that is easy and this one is t2z this one is easy and this one is t2z put here 1 2 3 and 4 so what is the value of cfsc for this case i am moving here friend for this 0.4 for d6 we get <coughs> minus 0.4 for d5 we got minus 2 for d4 we are getting this that is 4 that is Uh, plus 0.6 into 0 minus 0.4 into 4 that is minus 1.6 okay now for d7 that is high spin d7 okay no issue for d7 high spin first singly occupied like this this one is easy and this one is t2g t2g and eg clear now what will happen 1 2 3 And four, five, six, and seven. How many electrons are there? Zero point six into two. Yes, sir. Minus zero point four into two to four and five. Five electron. That is minus plus one point two minus two. That is minus zero point eight. Clear? Check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for all D six, D five, D four, and D seven, which one has high value of magnitude? Cute. If I talk about D five, that that is it have high magnitude two. So in this case, which will have high maximum? Give maximum CFSC. That is for D five, low spin D five, high spin D five, high spin. What I am telling that is first of all singly occupied, but low spin first paired, then will move to the next from T to Z to E Z. Clear to you? Now, friend, I am going to wrap this part. I think now you can easily solve such kind of question. So we we'll review the answer again. Wait for a moment. Now check it out. What I'm telling. <coughs> Now for this question, tell me what is the option. This is one of the best question. C option plus 18 uh, average oxidation state plus 18 upon 7 for B plus 2 and for C plus 3. Now for CO and S3, as I told you, it so linkage isomer. It can so. Uh, ionization isomer it can so geometrical isomer a4 b2 but optical isomer is, is not possible there is a involvement of plane of symmetry now let's move which of the following has two geometrical isomer and is non ionizable as we non ionizable no charge this is the correct option c now let's move to the question number 4 which of the following cobalt complex is paramagnetic high spin complex as i told you none of all are diamagnetic and low spin complex so the, for this question d is the correct option question number 5 this one form uh, ambidentate as well as chelating ligand d is the option now which of the following pair of molecule have identical shape as i discussed zn h2o hall 4 b is the correct option sp3 and 
sp3 for question number 6 in the compost of cocl3 interest to wernerus theory have discussed the same uh, example so in this case c is the correct option now question number 8 T2Z contain DXY, DYZ and DXZ, not DX square minus Y square. So for this, D is the correct option. Now let's move to the question number 9. A stable complex, Mo the chelation, Mo is the stability. In this case, there is 3 bidented ligand and it will form ring structure due to this reason, D is the correct option and that is CO and EN whole thrice 3 plus form a stable complex. Now question number 10, for an octahedral curve, which of the following? That is, as I told, I have derived the uh, complete calculation, that is minus 2, that is the magnitude for low spin, that is 2, ma maximum magnitude of CFSC. So B is the correct option, low spin D5. So friend, I think now you are very much familiar with such type of question, practice it, I think it will help you a lot. So this is the last question for this uh, class. We will meet you again. Thank you so much.